everyone. Welcome to Learning Literature with Borba. In today's video, we are going to talk about 20 important literary magazines, periodicals and journals from the neoclassical age to the postmodern age. If you are preparing for competitive exams, you must know the names of these magazines, their founders and everything. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. So let's begin our discussion. So at first we have Tatler. So Tatler was founded by Richard Steele in 1709. It ran for two years and Tatler used to publish three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Next we have Spectator. Spectator was founded by Joseph Addison and Richard Steele in 1711 and it ran till 1714. Just like Tatler, Spectator also published three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Next we have Gentleman's Magazine, which was founded by Edward Cave in 1731 and it ran till 1922, almost 200 years. And it was the first magazine to use the term magazine. Samuel Johnson was a huge part of Gentleman's Magazine. He was a contributor as well as an editor. Gentleman's Magazine is also known as Trader's Monthly Intelligencer. Next we have Rambler. Rambler was a magazine founded by Samuel Johnson in 1750 and it ran till 1752. So Rambler was published two times a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays and a total of 208 essays were published in Rambler. Next we have the Critical Review which ran from 1756 to 1870 and the editor of this magazine was Tobias Smollett and some regular contributors were Samuel Johnson and Oliver Goldsmith. Next we have the Edinburgh Review and the Edinburgh Review ran from 1802 to 1929. The editor was Francis Jeffrey who called Wordsworth, Coleridge and Robert Southey the Lake Poets in a very derogatory manner. The objective of this magazine was to promote romanticism and Whig political views. Some common contributors were Lee Hunt, Bertrand Russell and Walter Scott. Next we have the Examiner. So the Examiner was founded in 1808 and it ran till 1886 and it was founded by Lee Hunt and John Hunt. It was published on a weekly basis and the common contributors were Shelley, Byron, Kitts, William Hazlitt and also Charles Dickens. Next we have the Quarterly Review which was founded in 1809 by John Murray. Now in Quarterly Review, John Wilson Croker, he criticized John Keats' Endymion and also said that John Keats belonged to the Cockney School of Poetry and later Shelley said that this particular article was responsible for the death of John Keats and there was this huge controversy. Next we have Germ. So Germ is a literary magazine founded in 1850 by the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. The founder of it was D.G. Rossetti. So it was later renamed Art and Poetry and there were only four issues and the four issues were published between January to April 1850. So it was a failure. Next we have The Dial. So the Dial is an American magazine that ran from 1840 to 1929. It is also known as the Transcendentalist magazine because the Transcendentalists such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Walt Whitman and Margaret Fuller were associated with this magazine and they wrote about their views on Transcendentalism. 
So therefore, the Dial is an American magazine associated with transcendentalism. Next, we have All the Year Round. All the Year Round is a weekly periodical that was founded by Charles Dickens. And it ran from 1859 to 1895. Next, we have English Review, another literary magazine, and it was founded by Ford Maddox Ford. It ran from 1908 to 1937. Next, we have Poetry, a magazine in verse. So it was founded by Harriet Monroe in 1912 in Chicago. And this magazine used to publish experimental writers who were doing experimentation on their poetry. So T.S. Eliot's Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock was first published in this magazine. Other regular contributors are Robert Frost, Wallace Stevens and Ezra Pound. Next we have The Egoist, which is a London literary magazine founded by Dora Marston. It ran from 1914 to 1919 and this particular magazine used to publish modernist poetry and modernist fiction. It got published in a monthly basis and Ezra Pound was the editor of the magazine and James Joyce's Ulysses was published for the first time in this magazine. Next we have Blast. Blast ran from 1914 to 1915 and it was also a literary magazine and it was founded by Wyndham Lewis with assistance by Ezra Pound. Next we have The Criterion. So The Criterion is another magazine which used to be published on a monthly basis and the founder was T.S. Eliot. It ran from 1922 to 1939. And T.S. Eliot's Wasteland was published for the first time in this particular magazine. Other contributors were Virginia Woolf, E.M. Foster, W.B. Yeats and Ezra Pound. Next, we have Scrutiny, a quarterly review that ran from 1932 to 1953 and it was founded by L.C. Knights and F.R. Levis. It was a literary critical journal. Next, we have Critical Quarterly. Critical Quarterly is an academic peer review journal that was founded in 1958 by C.B. Cox and A.E. Dyson and till today it is running. Next, we have Writer's Workshop, a miscellany of creative writing. And this is an Indian journal that was founded by Purushottam Lal in 1958. And it published many important Indian writers post-independence. Lastly, we have Tesol Quarterly, a quarterly peer-reviewed academic journal. And it was founded in 1967 and it publishes articles on English language learning and teaching. So that's it for today's video where we discussed 20 important literary magazines, periodicals and journals from neoclassical age to postmodern age. I hope you found the video helpful. If you found the video helpful, then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back very soon with a new video on literary work. Till then, stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purva and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.